Welcome back, love bugs. And as you can see, this is a delicious vegan meal. When I say soul food, it's soul food, okay? This is um, all vegan, plant-based, no meat involved. This Stay tuned on how I made this delicious meal. Okay, so today we're going to start our vegan soul food meal with our greens and our mashed potatoes. So for your mashed potatoes, you're going to need the cauliflower. And I've already cleaned them, so we're going to go ahead and add them to our water. So we're going to remove this just as they are. Water's already here. So we're going to go ahead and just add them to the water. And we're going to go ahead and start those on a boil. So we're going to just turn fire on and then start those. And that's going to be our mashed potatoes after we have those boiled. Now we're going to go ahead and start with our greens. Our greens are already have been washed. For our greens, you're going to need this which is like a, a bouillon but it's uh, not chicken so it has a chicken flavor so i like to add this to our water so we already have our water i'm going to go ahead and get one of these one of these that's what it looks like and the water we have here and we're going to go ahead and add that to the water and get the water started Gonna start that as well while we go ahead and cut our greens now first I'm going to go ahead I have this bell pepper I'm going to go ahead and cut the bell pepper first no rhyme or reason just however you will so we're going to add that right there with the green with the sauce now, I like to cut my greens like this I like to take all of this off my greens Take that off like that. Move that over here to the side. And then I like to cut them like this. And then I chop them in slices like this. And that's just like how I like to do my greens. Just like that. Everything else. Like just like that. And then just keep, continue with the process. And I'm not really completely vegan. I'm actually pescatarian, but I've already, I've tried to, I guess, um, do this maybe once a week to try to do like a cleanse for my body to just eat vegetables, um, just to better with my healthy living, healthy lifestyle, you know, so I have them all in a stack like that. And then I'm right-handed, so I have to do it this way. So you just chop it. And then you grab it like that and add it to your water. And then you're going to let the go. I finish adding the rest of the greens. I'm going to now add my garlic powder and child you know I just use it to taste I don't really know how much to put in there now we're going to use our onion powder just going to sprinkle that on in sprinkle that in use our cracked lemon pepper and sprinkle that in and I'm going to also do because we're not putting any bacon usually in greens I will put like a bacon or some kind of sausage or some kind of uh, turkey leg is usually what people put but since we're not doing that I'm going to put this bacon lover seasoning by uh, flavor gods so we're going to go ahead and add that I like to add a little bit so I'm going to put it like pour it like that so you can get that good seasoning. And I like, when I cook, I like to use these wooden spoons. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and just stir all that in. Put it on a low setting so that you can go ahead and let that cook down. And then we're gonna come back to that. Okay, so child, these greens, ooh, y'all can smell them. They smell amazing. <laughs> yes, honey. So those are cooking down. They're almost ready and ready to be plated. Okay. So now our cauliflower is all done and cooled. I'm gonna take it out and put it on the cutting board. And we're gonna use our food processor back here. I'm gonna open it up. And these small pieces, woo, these small pieces, I can go ahead and add. I can go ahead and add these as well. This bigger piece, just chop it up a little bit. And I'm just gonna add that to the food processor, just like that. Just like that. And then we're gonna use the, gar um, the cracked lemon pepper. Going to add that to the food processor. We're going to add our buttery steakhouse. This is what keep ha, gives it that buttery taste. We're going to go ahead and add that as well. And I like to use a lot of that because it gives that buttery taste. And then we're going to go ahead and use our onion powder. And we're going to use our garlic powder. And then we're going to go ahead and lock it in. Lock it. And then we're going to start it. And it's going to be a little noise, so bear with me. And if it's not the consistency that you want, a little bit of water to make it a little creamier. A little bit of water, just a little bit, not too much. And then a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit. So it can be a little bit more creamier. And then we go ahead and add it again. Okay. Just like that, we have our mashed potatoes. You see the consistency? It's like really mushy kind of. So, so far, we have our greens ready and we have our mashed potatoes ready so you need and next we're going to go uh flaxseed meal almond milk baking powder almond flour a little of agave a little olive oil and salt and then you of course need your cupcake or a muffin pan so we're going to go ahead and mix all of this together and wish me luck yeah so i'm going to in my bowl i'm going to do one, oh, and you need, of course, the measurement, measuring spoon. So we're going to do one teaspoon of agave. So we're going to go ahead and add that to the bowl, like that. Then I'm going to do a half a cup of almond flour. And of course, the kids want to be all loud right now. They're not my kids. They're just kids that live in my apartment building. So excuse me if they're loud. Half a cup, give or take, half a cup of almond flour like that. And a half a cup of milk. milk half a cup of milk we're gonna use almond milk of course and then oh it says sugar but I don't think I'm gonna use sugar sugar I'm going to use trivia so I'm gonna just do two I'm actually doing one since I already have the agave. I don't want it to be too sweet, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that one. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of salt. It's 
says one eighth, which this right here is one eighth. So that's the amount of salt you need. So we just pour it in there. Make sure it's not too much. Just enough salt, pour that in there. That's our salt. Then we need a half a cup of this flaxseed. Let's just do like just a little bit. I don't want too much, so I'm just gonna do a little bit. Flaxseed, and then we're gonna do a half of a tablespoon of, half a tablespoon, oh that's a teaspoon. No, that's right, half a tablespoon of um half a tablespoon of baking powder like that and you're gonna whisk it all up, up like this so you have your cornbread mix probably not gonna make too many of these it's probably gonna make like maybe one or two i don't know but i'm gonna put it in the oven and we only really need two because Babe and I, this is Babe and I's meal tonight. So I only really need two muffins. So that's all I need. I'm going to preset my oven to 300. Like I said again, this is a new recipe. So if it doesn't turn out right, it ain't my fault. Ah, it ain't my fault. Hey, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm so silly. But yeah, we're gonna make, I guess as many as it'll kind of make. Hopefully it'll rise. It don't have no egg in it, but the flaxseed meal is like an egg replacement kind of sorta. So yeah, so I'm just gonna put these over here. Like again, excuse the kids, the cheering is outside. Oh, you know what? I didn't put no olive oil in this. Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus. I didn't put my olive oil on. Lord Jesus, forgive me. Forgive me. How I forget you. Can't forget the olive oil. You make me not stick. You make it so I don't stick. Okay. So, so like that. A little scooper here to scoop it in and place it in each little muffin container. Can y'all see that? What I'm doing? Yeah. And like that. And just pray for the best. Positive thoughts, positive wishes, positive thoughts. If this comes out, I'm gonna put these in the oven for like 15, 20 minutes. And then we're gonna see how those turn out a little later. We're gonna put our little cornbreads in the oven. Okay. And last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and make our meatloaf. So you need the Beyond Meat or any kind of protein, um, plant-based meat that you would like to use. I use bell pepper and onion, but unfortunately, like I mentioned before in the video, I don't have an onion, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. You'll definitely need a knife. Um, I Some people use bar, um, ketchup, but I recently, wifey, purchased this sugar-free barbecue sauce, and it's so amazing. So we're gonna use that, and you're gonna need a pan to cook it in. You're gonna need foil. I don't like to place it directly in here. I like to put foil in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and use foil. We're gonna need a bowl so we can go ahead and mix that in. And then we're gonna all need our ingredients from earlier, which is onion powder. We're going to, no, we're not gonna use this again. Well, maybe just a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and use our buttery steakhouse. We're gonna use our garlic powder. And we're going to use our cracked our cracked lemon pepper so what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and open this up and i like to just go ahead and use the knife and just slice it like this and these are actually so we have the bowl right here so these are actually burger patties and what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and take them out like this and put them in here just like that Just bell like pepper, that. which is already cleaned. We're gonna go ahead and cut that. And sometimes I usually put this in the processor that I used earlier, the food processor, um, just so that it can be diced really, really well. So you wanna make sure that you're very careful with cutting. I like to get all the seeds out. Get all, knock all the seeds out. 
and we're gonna chop that and take that to the side really fine because we're gonna add this to our meat. Okay. Dice it really fine. And you're gonna let this cook when we cook this. We're not gonna add the barbecue sauce up right away. Um, so I want this really fine. So I'm gonna just chop this as small pieces as possible, but you want it to be enough so you can taste it. Because you wanna taste that it's not a hamburger. You wanna taste that it has some more loving in it, you know? You can add as much or as little um, seasonings or you know this as you want I'm going to go ahead and load it up load it up I'm gonna go ahead and load it up like that and add those two I'm gonna just slide these to the side and then now I'm going to use my garlic powder I like to be a little heavy with this you know what I'm saying <laughs> a little heavy <laughs> and then I'm gonna use my lemon my cracked lemon pepper put that on up put it on up put it on up and then we're going to use our onion powder yes god yes god and then we're going to use a little bit of this just a tad just like that i'm just going to go ahead and mix it like this with the fork get it all in marry all the ingredients together marry them all together like this just get it all in there. I want to use a spoon. I like to use, and then because I like, I'm, I'm just extra like that. I like to just put a little bit more seasoning in that bad boy, a little bit more, just so it can be seasoned. You know, <laughs> this is this is soul food, okay? So you want it to be very seasoned, very yummy, very delicious, okay? You don't want it to be half nothing, okay? You want it to be tasty, okay. so, like this. Nice little square or a pan like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and drop that in there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and continue to shape, shape our meatloaf so it can have the shape of what we want it to be. So I'm just gonna flatten it out like this, flatten it here. I need to scoop it a little bit around here and round, round it out here so it can have our shape. So once you have the shape that you want for your meatloaf, then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more seasoning on, on the top. You're going to be like, Monica, that's way too much. But honey, child, <laughs> you can never say my food is not seasoned, though. <laughs> sprinkle just a tad bit on the top. Just a tad bit on the top, a little bit of loving on the top, and a little bit of loving on the top. Got an onion right there. And then she is now ready for the oven. Once it starts to get a little bit done, then we're gonna go ahead and add our barbecue sauce. So yeah, I'm gonna leave that in there for like probably 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll come back and see how it looks. So now I took it out of the oven. Looks like it's kind of cooked. See the juice at the bottom? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add the barbecue sauce to it and put it back in the oven. Let it sit for a minute. So I'm gonna spread it. I'm gonna pour like that, just like that. And then I'm gonna use that little spatula thing like earlier and just spread it on top like so, like that. And we're just gonna let that cook. And then our meal is done. Our meal is done. Pour some more barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce is hit for it to be sugar-free. Oops, a little too much, but it's okay. All good. I'm gonna spread that and let that cook. Kind of let it crisp a little bit on top. So I'm gonna leave that in the oven till it kind of gets a little like sticky, I guess. See, doesn't it look amazing? Let's pick it up. Looks amazing, right? Now Let's these cupcakes, I mean these muffins, child. Look, didn't I tell you it was trial and error? They look like they're gonna be good. It's just kind of they kind of fail. So <sighs> it is what it is. But taste wise, it's probably gonna be good. I just gotta figure out um, what I did wrong with these. But they gonna taste good, girl. Okay. 
see and just like that it is complete see how it's kind of cooked on oh so delicious so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna cut it the long way i'm about to plate it real quick yes but everything is completely done all the we have here meatloaf and back here mashed potatoes and greens and then over here